checking in for the day. It is day four of Summer Orthon. Um, I didn't really do much today, which is why I didn't really film much, but I did finish Truly Madly Royally. Um, I, I really liked this. Um, as you can see, I like tabbed a lot of things. Um, I think for me, this was a solid like four star read. Um, partially because, and granted, I'm keeping in mind that this is an arc, so obviously it's not the finished copy, it's not the final form, and all that kind of stuff. Um, the things I loved, I loved, um, Zora, and I loved, like, who she was and the things she represented. Like, she is someone who loves her community and loves finding ways to help her community thrive and do better, and I love that. And I loved Owen, like he's such a sweet person and he was always so genuine with her and like never had any like ulterior motives or was never truly like dishonest with her, which I appreciated. I think the thing that I struggled with was like there were, like I liked the storytelling and I loved the writing, but there were moments where things would happen and it never, it felt like it never really had a resolution with me. It just was like, oh, this happened. Let's skip to the next scene kind of thing. And it kind of felt that way with me, like, or it kind of felt that way to me in regards to like certain things. So like there's a point where Zora and Owen have like a really tough conversation and she kind of just walks away or um, there's a point where he like interacts with her and he says something which like in my I interpreted it really weird but then it was never brought up again it was like oh moved on to the next scene um, and it like that specific thing like when that specific scene with him I thought he was like mad and then the next scene he was fine and so it was there were just moments where I was just like I don't understand like the fluidity i guess of the story was like a weird and a little choppy but otherwise i think it was a pretty good story i think it's a pretty good contemporary read like there were tons of cute moments that i loved that zora and owen had um uh and the ending was a little i like i liked the ending um i wish there were certain things that may have been that could have been maybe resolved a little bit better um, overall just because they kind of left like it was kind of just like well that's a thing oh well like that's kind of the feeling I got from it but um, overall I liked it though and I definitely recommend it if you're looking for like a cute summer read um, in regards to that I, I still love that they're an interracial couple I really really do and I love that she never changed who she was for like anybody and I loved that she was really big into, like, African-American culture and African culture. And she was upfront about it. And there was a point where Owen, like, was trying to learn more about it for her. So he, like, rented this book about women, about African-American women in history and was reading through it. And I was like, that's freaking adorable. So, yeah, it was a little thing. But that is my update for the day. Um, I'm glad I was able to finish this book. I am going to try starting Killer Instinct, and then I still haven't decided between Prince Charming and I'll Give You the Sun, but I will let you know tomorrow what I decide, what I decide to choose. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's me um, checking in for the last day of Summerathon. I am sorry that I didn't vlog yesterday at all, partially because I was just really lazy and also I just, I honestly didn't read anything until maybe late into the night and by then I just didn't really think about uh, vlogging, so I probably failed on this vlog. I was doing good and then just the last bit I failed on, so that's fine. Oops, it's not happening. Um, but I will say that I did start Prince Charming last night and I finished it today. I was originally going to start, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to do my makeup while I do this because I'm getting ready to go to dinner, go to dinner with friends. And so I figured I'd vlog and 
get ready while I talk. Um, but, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I was originally going to start, uh, I'll give you the sun, but, uh, I like was just laying there and I was just like slumping essentially and so Chloe from the brunette baby file texted me and she was like have you started like reading and I was like no not yet and she was like oh darn I, I want to know if you're reading Prince Charming and I was like no I wasn't gonna do that one yet and she was like okay because I want to know what you think and then I um was like Okay, you know, I'll just start that one. Like, I want a fun contemporary because I know how heavy I'll Give You the Sun is. And so I was like, I think I just want something fun for right now because of how much I'm slumping. <laughs> so I picked it up and I started reading it. And I was reading it and then watching TV at the same time. And then finally, um, I got into it a little bit. And then I needed to stop because I told my friend I would watch a movie with them. Um, and I actually watched spider-man into the spider-verse for the first time last night because it was on netflix and i actually really enjoyed it like loved it i was texting my friend i was like oh my gosh all these things are happening and i like didn't realize how funny it would be and so i really like actually appreciate that um it was like really funny i wasn't expecting and i i kind of loved it and i was like i think that's it's probably one of my most favorite spider-man adaptions they've done so far so appreciate that um, but yeah, so today I woke up and I just immediately picked up the book and I started reading more and I like loved it and I, I finished it. So that's a good thing. Um, maybe I should turn you guys this way so that way I'm not like, you can still see me. I don't know. Whatever. We're just going with it. Um, so I wasn't sure what to think because, so when I first heard about the book in my head I thought it was one of those like oh the girl like I knew the story like the girl was gonna go like her sister was getting married to the prince and so she was gonna go like she ended up in Scotland with her sister so in my head I don't know why but I was like oh she's just gonna fall in love with the prince's brother because like that's typical um and then I started the story and then it was like or I actually like glanced at the back yesterday and it was like oh and then there's the prince and then there's the prince's friend that's like poor or whatever and I was like oh gosh please don't tell me this is a love triangle because I'm not the biggest fan of love triangles I think they just really bother me and but okay I'll give this a chance and so one I loved uh Daisy she was so funny like I loved her sense of humor I would want her as a friend if I could have her because of her sense of humor like I just I loved how witty and sassy it was and it was like her defense mechanism <laughs> and like her way to not be like awkward or like to make things like to like diffuse a situation so I really appreciated that and um I loved how like hippy dippy her parents were. I thought that was pretty cool, especially her dad. Like I love that he got his her she got her sense of humor from him. So I was like loving that a lot. And then um the sister like it took me a bit to warm up to her because I like I just found her so uptight and I I get why but it was like to the point where she was just kind of being mean and like it felt like she was trying to stifle her sister so much um because of the fact that Daisy was like more outgoing and kind of outspoken and very honest and so I just don't I don't like it when people like try to stifle other people like that so I was it like, took me a minute to warm up to her I loved the prince like I wasn't sure what to think about him at first again because like when you first meet him it's like a really weird situation but I was like oh I I can I can like get behind it like he's cool but then I met Miles and I was like oh my gosh he's the one like I just I love <laughs> I kind of just love how he like took her sense of humor in stride too like he never just like was like what are you talking about he just went with it and then like later on as they actually became friends he like 
um, he like just like embraced it and then added to it as well. And so I, I liked that a lot. And I liked that like as she got like to know the people more, like more of them seemed to like her. Well, specific ones seemed to like her, like Miles and uh, the prince's brother. I can't think of his name for some reason. Sebastian, like, the fact that he, like, to, he, like, warmed up to her, too, and they, like, at, like, after a while, and then even, like, Flora, their sis, the twin sister, like, ended up warming up to her, too, and so I kind of appreciated that, excuse me, um, because it showed, like, she didn't really need to change to make people like her, like, they liked the, like, they liked who she was, and they liked her sense of humor, and so, I don't know, I just, like, kind of really enjoyed that. Um, I didn't like the, I didn't like, uh, the queen. <laughs> Obviously, I feel like we're not supposed to like her. But I just found her, like, very controlling. And I'm, I have a feeling that if I continue and read, uh, Her Royal Highness, I'm probably not gonna like her in that one either. Unless, like, something changes. Um, with her in that book, but I have no idea, just because I know, like, the subject's about Flora and another girl, so, but I, I kind of want to check that one out, too, because I really enjoyed the world, so I would love to, like, see how that one, it, that story's told as well. up this vlog um I didn't end up reading anything today because that's my life right now but um I am officially done with summerathon I finished three books which is I honestly I'm still proud of myself for doing three books I mean I could have ended up doing none so I'll take what I can get um I'm excited to start vlogging for the bookie the booktube junkie or the bleh, for the book junkie trials um i think i'm also gonna vlog for my birthday so i have a couple more vlogs probably coming up soonish along with some birthday videos and all that stuff so yeah i'm excited um just to recap the books i finished were truly madly royally um Prince Charming, and then I did a reread of The Naturals with Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell. I will talk about more, like, I will talk more about those in my June wrap up, along with all the other books I finished this month, which I feel like I finished a lot, which I am really proud of myself for because I literally thought I was gonna hit a slump again. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to go into July with this energy. Hopefully it keeps up. But thank you guys for watching this vlog and all the other vlogs I posted. Um, I hope you guys are having a good reading life.